You took one hell of a whack to the skull. Lead pipe, baseball bat, something. Anything in his pockets? Around here, we're lucky he's still got pockets. Let's leave the social commentary to Andy Rooney. I'm just saying it's an expensive suit, Prada. Maybe he was on his way to church. That's why you've got the badge. Detective. So we found this wallet off the block. It was emptied except for this. Al Garber, manager of Manhattan Jaguar. That's in the 50s. He's a long way from home. Who knows? Maybe they deliver. A wallet for 200, a bar for five grand, an $80,000 painting, a $100,000 car. Hey, he's trading up. It's the American way. Yeah, what's next, a Learjet? Only if it's tastefully decorated. Would you just leave it alone? Can I play, too? Some friend of Ed's who was at the bar the night of the robbery. She ain't a friend of mine, and all I'm saying is a girl like that could do a whole lot better than a stick-up man. Like what, an art thief? Hey, she disappeared right before the guy pulled his piece. She lied about her name to the citizen who called 911, and her seat at the bar had a bird's eye view of the cash box filled with large bills. Go see what's hanging up on her walls. Uh, this is nice. Yeah, an old boyfriend. He dabbles. I'd actually consider purchasing something like this. You'd be wasting your money. Keep your wallet closed until I get my line of menswear on the market. It's a suit I'm working on that'll look dashing on you. Hey, if your prices are anything like the place you work, he can frame it and hang it on the wall. Your ex-boyfriend who painted this, what's his name, Manuel? Lopez. He has a closet full of them if you're really interested. Just because I work here doesn't mean I can afford to shop here. And that bothered Tina? Only the best. It's all she ever talked about. You know, one time, I got a stick to the producers back when Nathan Lane was in it. And when she saw that the seats were in the balcony, she walked out. I didn't know there was anything below the balcony. Thank you. So what's she doing with a regular guy like you? Truth is, I had enough of her. Tina sucks the oxygen out of any room she enters. And unfortunately, I like to breathe. Anyway, she found a prince charming. How you know? <laughs> Saw her a couple of months ago. She had a big red sorkin. I heard they got a cure for that. <laughs> it's a bag by Gaston. Actually, the one on her arm must have gone for 20 grand. Roberto Delgado, you're under arrest for the murder of Hal Garber, among other things. Murder? We know you can talk, Robbie. We saw you making a phone call. Hey, if you don't understand, the whole point of this exercise is for us to say you did something bad and for you to either agree or disagree. You keeping your mouth shut spoils our fun. Save your breath, Lenny. What we found in his apartment makes all the noise that we need. Mr. Delgado has a visitor. What did you do? Huh? What did you do? How dare you? He's entitled to a lawyer. We already told him that three times. Yeah, well, he wants one. Well, it would have been nice if he said as much. You know, while you're here, Tina, we can read you your rights. Me? For what? For starters, that $20,000 bag hanging from your arm. There's a law against oh, receiving. Come on. This is a knockoff. Isn't it? Well, look, if it is real, I had no idea. Then there's accomplice to armed robbery. The bar? Oh, God. Well, he must have followed me there. You know, I'll bet Miss Montoya would like to talk to Robbie in private. You buying any of that? Well, she does seem to have all her bases covered. Trust You're me. awfully accommodating today. Well, I've found people tend to open up when we're not aroused. And if she doesn't? We've got to let her go. work itself out. Look at you. I'll take care of everything, Robbie. Okay? You don't say a thing. I want to thank you for your help. May I? Yeah, sure, go ahead. For being so professional. I've seen the way some cops are on TV. You treated Robbie like a person, not like a piece of sewer scum. Well, he did kill somebody, Tina. We'll see how it all works out. Whatever happens, I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Maybe I should thank you in advance, you know? Drink, dinner, maybe? Oh, God, there's nothing more in this world that I'd like better than to have a drink with you, Tina, but I got a lot of paperwork here. It can wait.
I don't think I can. The bartender at Bartholomew's picked him out of a lineup. The cops found the stolen artwork and the key to the stolen car in his apartment. And last but not least, Hal Garber's blood was on the car seat. So what is there to talk about? His lawyer called the meeting. Who's that? Dean Connors. Oh. What? Better known as Dean, what are you offering Connors? Look, I'm not going to waste your time. There's no point in going to trial on this. Make me an offer. I'll see what I can do. What did you have in mind, Mr. Connors? Well, looking at the time and expense involved in prosecuting a murder one case, we'll plead guilty to the robbery sentences to run concurrently. And when he's done his time, we'll throw a ticker tape parade down Fifth Avenue. But considering Mr. Delgado's condition, I think it's fair. What condition? Come on, you can't tell me you didn't notice. He looks fine to me. There are things that Robbie understands, and there are things that he doesn't. I'm sorry, the last time I checked, stupid is not a defense to murder. Hey, you don't have to insult him, OK? Robbie's slow. So the way I see it, you got two choices. You can have your shrink talk to him, or I can go ahead with a motion to dismiss the case entirely. I know you can talk. Your friend told me. Tina? Yes. She wants to help you most of all. Well, I don't know. She said to keep my mouth shut. That was before. Tina wants what's best for you. And right now, that's to talk to me. I don't like talking to doctors. What doctors? When I was a kid, my mom thought I could be fixed. How? What's the difference? They didn't fix me. Why do you say that? I'm in trouble. Do you know why? Because I took that stuff. But Tina told me not to. So Tina knew you were stealing? I, I don't. No. Tina would never do that. Do what? Tina's an artist. A real class act. I'd say his IQ was somewhere in the low 80s. Meaning? 100's normal. A person with an IQ of 80 can function in society, hold a job, interact socially, but in most cases is incapable of any abstract thought. You know what I'm looking for, Liv. Yes, he's capable of having criminal intent, but would he without help? You're referring to Tina Montoya. I doubt he knows the difference between a $100,000 sports car and a rent -a wreck To him, it's just a pretty silver car. Let me guess. Tina has a thing for Jaguars. I get the distinct feeling all she'd have to do is hint she wanted something, and Robbie would get it for her. But he didn't tell you that? No, but he didn't deny it either. Anyway, we have a school full of witnesses that put her with Robbie and what she had to have known was a stolen car, considering he had to kill to get possession of the car. So we get to do our thing? As soon as possible. Thanks. Did something happen to Robbie? You can ask him yourself. We reserved a nice seat for you next to him at the defendant's table. Tina Montoya, you're under arrest for conspiracy to commit murder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. 